get lines. A relative of the French teenager whose fatal shooting by police has sparked five nights of rioting says the family never called for violence. We don't tolerate at all what happened. We never called for hate or riots. A warning from NHS England. Patients are paying the price for strike action and the disruption could get worse. China's new law asserting Beijing's interests on the world stage comes into effect. We get analysis of its impact. And a slice of history. War planes from World War II are found buried in a forest in Ukraine. Award-winning Ukrainian writer Victoria Amelina has died of her injuries after a Russian missile strike on a restaurant at Kramatorsk last week. 13 people were killed in the attack. That's why the Orkney Islands could leave the UK and become a territory of Norway. Now, China's newly adopted law on foreign relations has come into effect, and it's meant to provide the overall rules and regulations for developing relations with the rest of the world. Some of the main provisions include upholding the multilateral trading system and opposing protectionism. At the same time, it says China can take restrictive measures against acts that endanger its security. Police in the U.S. city of Baltimore say they believe more than one gunman was involved in a mass shooting early on Sunday. Two people were killed and 28 others injured, half of them under the age of 18. Those responsible remain at large. Baltimore's mayor says it is a tragic reminder of how gun violence has affected the city. This was a reckless, cowardly act of violence uh, that has taken two lives and altered uh, many, many more. And as I said earlier, we will uh, find those who are responsible and we will not stop until we do so. The king of the Zulu nation in South Africa has undergone thorough medical examinations amid suspicions he was poisoned. It follows the sudden death of one of his senior advisors on Saturday. King Misu Zulu sought medical attention in East Watini, a landlocked nation in Southern Africa, as he's uncomfortable with seeking treatment in South Africa. A notorious Russian arms dealer who was freed last year by the United States in a prisoner swap is entering politics. Viktor Boot will stand as a candidate in a regional assembly in central Russia. He's joined the ultra-nationalist Liberal Democratic Party, which has loudly supported the war in Ukraine. Victor Boot was exchanged in December for the American basketball star Brittany Griner.